And I've just received the Unify U7 Pro, um, which I'm going to set up for a client. So I'm quickly just going to go through the unboxing for anybody that's not seen it before, and then we'll just show the adopting into the control panel. So this is just a quick video for anyone that's not familiar with them. Let's dive right in. Sheridan Computers. IT. Communications. Support. Okay, so let's take this out of the box and take a look what's in the box. Can't actually get it out, it's a bit tight. Come on, get out. Okay, throw the box away. So you can see in the box we have the U7 Pro itself um, with this protective plastic sheet on top. That can go too. If we turn upside down, um, you can see it's well packed as always with Unify. And as for ports on the bottom, we've got a single gigabit PoE, and then you can see there's a reset. And then we've got the steel back plates. So this is where these the older ones come with the plastic back plates. This actually has a steel one. Then we've got the screws. There's a Allen key and a device release to release it off the back plate. And we've got longer screws for ceiling tile mounts. Then wall plugs and screws for wall mounting. And this is just the Unify safety notice that comes with them all. And you'll notice it comes with the template as well. It's on the desk at the side of the screws. So I say these are usually plastic. So this one's steel and we just uh, drop it on like so. So it just clips in and twists as usual. And then we can pull this catch to release it. Out oh, fingers. And that will release it. Obviously, you're not always going to be able to get to the back of these, and this is what this uh, release is for. So with the release, when this is mounted, you can see the hole on the top here, and that's where we can push this release key in. And we push it in, and that will lift the latch on the back so we can twist it off. It's quite handy that we've started including these. Okay, so let's power this up first. So this is solid white and it will start flashing shortly. We just killed the lights. So when we plug them in and it starts flashing, it's ready to be adopted. So now we can head over to the control panel and actually adopt it. So we're logged into the Unify control panel. So now if we go into devices, you can see in the top right, it's uh, white, so we're ready to be adopted. And here we have the U7 Pro. Let's zoom this in a bit. I'm going to adopt this. So now you can see it's gone to getting ready. And the uh, LED has gone to uh, blue instead of the white. So that's adopted. Um, but now you can see it has an update available. Let's go ahead uh, and show you want to update to 8.2.17, 17, Yes. Now it's changed to updating. And while that's updating, we can have a look at the uh, what happens when you actually click on the U7 Pro. The um, settings are pretty much the same. So we can see this one's set on channel 6, 36, channel 1. Uh, we've got wi Wi-Fi 7 clients, 0. And then we have the usual information. Model, IP, MAC address, device version, uptime, memory usage, load averages. And then we've got the air stats, 2.4 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz and then obviously we've got the 6 gigahertz which is what the U7 Pro features um, we've got GBE power says NA uh, access groups and obviously insights is 
pretty much the same as the others. So we've got channel usage for 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz. And system performance, it's not showing because it's not actually updated yet, but if you look at the uh, top right corner, you can see it is flashing while it's doing the update. And then if we go into settings, obviously the name, uh, which radios, you can set the channels. Now, I just usually leave all these on auto. The channels you can set if you want to. Um, sometimes it's recommended. It depends on your deployment. But I usually leave power and channels just set to automatic, which we're going to do in this case. Then you've got your bandwidth steering to prefer 5 gigahertz off or have it balanced. IP network settings, so you can override your network settings and give it a static IP address. And then for management, we've got LED, whether it's on or off, uh, and then SNMP management, existing device configuration, apply the copy configuration of one device to another, and obviously the usual settings, so move to new site, manual firmware update, locate, which just makes it flash so you can find it, Restart and remove, which pretty much does a factory reset on it. You can see at this point we're flashing white while it's doing the update. And now it's switched to getting ready. And now it's changed to up to date. So as I mentioned at the beginning, I just wanted to do this video for anybody that had not seen the uh, U7 Pro and just what it looks like coming out of the box. If you'd like to hire us for any networking, anything Unify, head across to our website at SheridanComputers.com. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.